Shut up and sit down. Hello everyone, I'm the Cyber Guru. Thank you for watching my channel. Appreciate it. Um, this is a quick follow-up from the video I did about making the iPhone holder. Um, you know, if you watch that video, I'll be sure to put a link, uh, probably be over there, uh, to the video. Uh, I went through a number of different designs, I think five total. Well, after I finished the fifth design, uh, which is this guy here. Uh, here, let me show you a kind of a close-up of it. Uh, you can see uh, it turned out pretty well. Had a little bit of a fitting issue here on the size, um, which I fixed. Uh, and it had the little arm here. And during that video, I noted uh, that I, you know, I, I wish that it had two arms and give it a little more stability this way. Well, uh, my lovely significant other, um, who I can control into making a cameo, uh, my next show up in this video, uh, suggested that I put the arms on the sides. Uh, and I'm like, okay, well, that's brilliant and why didn't I think of that <laughs> um, so I did I went back into fusion I modified the design and ultimately ended up with uh, this design uh, right here and I'll show you here real quick and then I'll make it explain a little bit so uh, so same basic design except that the arms are on the sides here um, so they swing out uh, to the back like this and it gives it the stability that's looking for or that I was looking for right so <clears throat> pretty straightforward from a design change perspective first thing you'll notice here is uh, the cradle is a little bit smaller um, because I moved the uh, cradle in just a little bit uh, I think it's a little wider as well just to provide a little extra width um, stability uh, this way right and then I made the cradle just a little bit shorter turns out that it doesn't matter uh, really t how wide the cradle is too much the phone sits in here uh, pretty well I can actually show it to you um, so for my phone which is just a iPhone 6 6 6s something like that uh, it fits pretty nicely in there um, and then I can do it horizontally as well um, <clears throat> I don't think that I've tried the iPad with this to be quite honest with you to make sure it fits uh, so this was a uh, version one uh, I'm sorry version well it's the first try on version six <laughs> uh, worked out pretty well I printed this in a, some uh, actually glow on the dark uh, filament which I uh, did a review on so I'll uh, link uh, the review there if you want to check that out unfortunately the, the manufacturer no longer provides that filament so uh, I can't really buy it but I just thought I should review it anyway they maybe start making it again so the last uh, print I made, um, same design. I made some tweaks uh, to the sizes here uh, for the arms. Uh, I'll zoom in here and show it to you. Uh, this is Maker Geeks uh, Who Blue PLA. Um, <clears throat> it's actually kind of um, interesting. Uh, uh, the it's almost see-through, kind of transparent, translucent, uh, semi-opaque. You can kind of see through it there. Um, not what I was expecting from the PLA, but uh, I gotta tell you, I like it. Turned out very well. Um, but so this arm here uh, was uh, the exact same width as the hole, uh, which meant when I originally did the design and I closed it, it wasn't going down very well. It was catching, it wasn't um, going into the hole. <clears throat> uh, so I shrunk this arm down just a little bit by, I think, uh, two tenths of a millimeter just to slide it in a little bit and then I did some measuring uh, measuring after I printed it and, and it's pretty much spot on for what I needed so um, again uh, <clears throat> something to note so I got the two arms here the flip up um, I uh, so this one the screw is not as, as tight as this one <laughs> um, so uh, they stay up and they, they work well it's just this one's a little too loose for my part my uh, um, I would like it to be tighter. Uh, what I had to do though is because these uh, nuts here are in hex holes, let me show it to you. Um, and I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do this in the future. Uh, so the nuts here are in the little hex holes, so they're held in pretty well. Uh, let me see, let me see here, right there. Uh, can't really, there we go. That's a pretty good focus. Uh, they're held in very well, so when you flip the thing here the nuts actually unscrew from the screws um, and the more you do it the looser it gets um, I haven't had a situation where it, it completely fell apart 
so what I started doing is super gluing, just put drop a little super glue into the base here, screw the screw in and then let it dry and then it'll half unscrew and then half rescrew, right? So it never comes loose because this is not turning. Um, the problem is is when I screwed this one in, it's significantly tighter than this one, you can see. Uh, that's kind of operator error if you want to look at it that way. I, I sat back at the design and looked at it and I said, hey, is there any way that I could redesign it so that these screws are um, not turning with the nuts and you know, put like a washer in, use a flat screw or something like this. Uh, I futzed around with it for quite a while, looked for different uh, fastening options on a um, caster and car. Didn't find anything that was easy to use, readily accessible, and um, met the, the diameter or the um, vertical dimension. So I said, hey, you know what, the super glue thing works fine. Um, I'll deal with the little the floppy arm. <laughs> um, if I make another one of these, which I probably will, um, I'll just uh, tighten it down a little tighter or tighten this one down a little less so they're equally floppy, right? So I, I just symmetric could work uh, but it works pretty well again the uh, who blue from maker geeks uh, really really cool definitely enjoy that so give them uh, two thumbs up and so <clears throat> uh, this one is uh, probably gonna be for the father-in-law I'm gonna probably maybe send this one off to Joel Telling um, to give him a, uh, an iPhone holder that doesn't flop over I think that'd be kind of cool um, maybe I'll get a sticker or something out of it all right, everyone, uh, so that's the follow-up. Any questions, comments, uh, leave them down below. As always, if you uh, like the video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs up anyway. And uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks.